they'll vote whatever way you want them to vote. So it really makes absolutely uh, like no sense to try to to congeal the two, Mister Tracy. When they they hold the system up. Well, no, it's, it's, a, just, it's a system of like laws and how we handle situations that hasn't really fucking been working that well. So it needs to be addressed. It's not about well, like yes, there's there's that tweaks that and stuff. Are so fucking responsible, or like oh oh god, I'm gonna like so flatulate. Because- yeah, I'm going to exclaim my breath, too, because honestly, had this been like a date or something like that, like had, had this would have been a private conversation, like if they were in person, they'd probably already be stroking because she because like he, he, he broke her down earlier in the conversation with the Rodney Reed thing. But then they went and took it um, all. Then they went and just like kept talking and took it all over the place. So that's what we're that's really what we're into right here. And yeah, the other previous video just died on me so i'm like screw it i'm gonna make it this part two i feel so fucking bad for like my great 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 grandparents being okay like, but slave owners you mix up issues and you go on these different it's to me they're tangents. It's, it's connected it's, Look, what, what am no, I? you can talk about private prisons you could talk about investing more in rehabilitation you could talk about lowering or making certain drugs legal or lowering the sentencing on some of them you can do all that but that still yeah. doesn't address the huge disproportionate people numbers when it comes to who's committing these crimes I mean, th- those policy changes they affect all races it's not just one race that no it's, I, I think it would affect crime if like if we were focused more on rehabilitation yeah, you, instead of putting you, people into fucking like little crime factories that is what jails are no that's what the, the inner cities are that's what the, these family units are if your parents are criminals and they give birth to you i mean how many videos have we seen where these bleep fathers are like teaching their kid how to shoot a gun and there's like they're like four years old uh, haven't we seen videos of white people doing this too? Hold on, I seen a video of this like eight year old little white girl playing John Wick. Like she was not fucking around. <laughs> like why? Hold on, like why is this uh, the problem? Like okay, Devin, what are you doing here? Because the, how is one okay and the other not? Right? Uh, like uh, you chill, my guy, chill. Shit is happening. I haven't seen those videos. Oh, well, you're not you're not on my timeline, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not my it's not in my algorithm yet. All right, so <laughs> it, at, at your core, you want things to improve. Yeah. But I'm suggesting that that is a good impulse, and it's you know a, a righteous one. It's a good feature that you exhibit. But you, the way you go about solving it is just to point a finger and go, oh, boohoo to whites, and everything's racism, and then you just scamper off. And Am I doing this, that? This is the, what I, the impression I get is this is. An- no, you're not. Not at all. Golly, she is very attractive. But the deal is, is that it is uh, that that's why I think that this um, interview is so important and something that I really wanted to highlight on my channel, because you did stick around. You did have the conversation. And the deal is you both you guys are both right. It's just hitting on different um, levels. He's completely right about self-ownership and the like. But the pro and she's completely right about the environments being as, as jacked up as they are. Now, how do we go about fixing them? Hey, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Um, um, the we got to go back into the family courts. We have to we have to decriminalize uh, child support. My goodness, like what? Like like we have to go back to we have to start to move policy and legislation back towards nuclear families and taking care of each other and making sure that you know the natural orders, which is man, woman, child, in that order, um, is uh, is is best. Is, it can be best implemented, and a large part of that can come through like what I was talking about in the other video with um uh manufacturing industry trying to bring jobs to these communities that was one of my big parts during my it's one of the things that i really learned during my advocacy for legal legalization is that there's um like it we could bring industry to these places to whereas the fathers can afford to take care of their children and we can afford to start having these um happy homes again but we are down a rabbit hole when it comes to these places so in conversations like this are super important as we start to dig out of uh as, as we try or at least i try to dig out of these uh of these policies and these um you know, measures that have done no one any favors. Let's continue. Not just you. This is a pattern from people like you where they, nothing is solved. By your own admission, this doesn't work. Pointing the finger at white no, people saying fucking yeah, racist. People, uh, the, the conversation around these issues, yeah, it's a fucking shit show. It we is. not coming up with good solutions. Nothing is advanced. And look. But there are the, people doing work. Like, I mean, it, I myself, I've like worked with people in like prison reform. Like, it's That's a, good. 
yeah and i i think that's a thing you can do that helps other communities and i'm not doing it because i'm like oh fuck like i'm white like it helps white people too but it also obviously has impacted the black community more so that's and the deal is is that seriously it's sh- we we the aim should be to help americans the aim, aim should be regardless of color regardless of background regardless of what's between their legs i think the the, the end goal should be to help our the our countrymen and put our countrymen first and start to figure these things out. It's a big part of the um, immigration battle that a lot of people don't speak about is how, you know, with all of these other resources going elsewhere to people who aren't Americans, like Americans continue to fall behind. Americans continue to catch the short end of the stick. So, you know, like, yeah, let's keep going. Part of my reasoning. What I would suggest is one of my philosophies about the whole thing is this notion to get back at whites, to bring them down, to throw shade at them, to be negative towards whites. This notion, it comes from a psychological place. And I believe that the problem in America today is not white supremacy. That is insanely exaggerated to a comical degree. It is black inferiority complex. They have a complex that they're inferior. What is it based on? You think you better than me? (laughs) Like, that's the thing. There's a, there's a whole industry, Devin. There's a whole subculture and industry of people who, you know, that who actually get paid to be black victims. Look at your Sean Kings of the world, right? I mean, there is a lot of money to be made in um, victim mindset, and that and capitalism is a part of it. Just it sucks that there are so many people susceptible to that whole "oh, screw them because they're white" type deal. Like, seriously, I, 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 I don't get it. I've never gotten it. I wasn't raised that way. I was raised, part- I was raised like, while white flight was in the middle of happening. So I had white neighbors. I had brown neighbors. I had, by the time I was like, what, like nine years old, I kissed a white girl, a black girl, and the, um, and an Indian girl. So I was doing okay. You know what I mean? As far as race relations go, like, yo, no, nah, man, as far as ladies go, man, you know, all pink on the inside, right? Like, there's no discernible difference as far as I'm concern <laughs> let's keep going it's based on how well they're doing it's based off all these metrics that we can look at and they feel frustrated and humiliated by the fact that they are not coming from a thriving community why are we not hearing asians bitch about this i mean asians were mistreated asians there's racism towards asians it's just like i i don't think it's like the they are not bitching about this because they don't have a psychological they don't have a psychological chip on their shoulder because they weren't <laughs> enslaved well, they probably were, but not in, in the recent context. And they just don't care. They're busy living successful lives. And that is what I wish everyone could get to. But I have no patience and I have no tolerance for people so, blaming the wrong people for their own shortcomings. And I can completely agree with that. I completely agree with that, which is why I point the finger so hard at the Ross Barakas, the the the, the, the Cory Bookers, the um, Donald Paynes, the Tony Rosses, the Ted Greens, the, the the like these individuals who maintain the status quo, who make sure that the communities that they supposedly represent like remain shit. That there's no industry, that there's no um, type of steady decent work in order to you know build and raise families on, and they've reduced these. Um, communities down to gig economies and you know small like small tokens and small gestures and a whole bunch of symbolism there are always these black history month uh things going on particularly at, in february right now there's all these different black history months martin luther king day things oh malcolm x and all this other nice stuff all these things that took place in our in, in far more recent history than um than slavery which is one of the reasons i completely nullify slavery as an argument because bruh you ain't got to look back that far if you really don't we can go after the things that have been implemented over the last 40 years we don't ha- even have to worry about <laughs> all that took place way back then but the deal is that there's a lot of money to be made and, and plus the overabundance of people in grievance studies classes and colleges you know that because that's really where there are a lot of these degrees a lot of these folks they get they particularly the females and the feminine minded guys um get their degrees is in grievance studies and where oh my goodness well i'm just a victim and it, and, and all it seems like is just victim school for the most part unless you're in college for stem or or something like that you know engineering and the like you're in college to become to to learn how to best use your victim status to you know sustain yourself and when somebody's paycheck is reliant on them believing something best of luck 
having them think differently. I just feel like looking at it as like blame isn't, I mean, at least for me and then the conversation, it's not about blame. It's about like what we can do as a society to improve conditions based on like, yeah, of course, like, you know, I... So you guys can see where um, this conversation keeps going in circles. It's a little annoying, and I think that I've made my point um, rather cogently here. Uh, so we're going to bring, I'm going to be slowing this one down. God, she, yo, she bad, yo, seriously. But she got that, she, she was a former addict and went through a few things, and probably a lot of meat. So it's like, eh, yeah, that'd be fun for a ride, but you know, nothing to take too seriously. But she was a good looking chick. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring. And YouTube, bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know what do you guys think in the comments. I mean, they, I'm such a smart ass, right? They're like, oh man, well, what are the solutions? I gave you the solutions. I mean, whether or not these or these communities go towards implementing them is something completely different because I can't be all over the nation, all over the country. I can only be in my space. And trust me, I'm having a hard enough time here. These people are insane. OK, <laughs> like, like the same people that suffer from TDS. So I just I say my piece and I, I keep it pushing for the most part. But guys, it, what do you think? Huh? I mean, A, she is, she, yo, she, she can catch it. Gosh, she remind me of LP so much. But um, <laughs> besides that, uh, you know, the, do you have any solutions? Do you think that there's a better way that we can go about approaching it? I mean, I, me, I will remain behind the idea of ending the drug war, uh, restructuring family courts, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and really completely when it comes to schools. Oh, my God. Oh my God, like that, like, uh, I don't even want to think about it right now, but you may have different suggestions and that's what I have a comment section for. Yay. So <laughs> I've added in the comments guys and until the next one.